Harvard Managed Mentors Admin Console is designed to help you manage your investment in HMM by providing you with the most insightful and relevant information and tools. The Admin Console is divided into five areas where you can get an overview of key data, view and run reports, manage learners, add company content, and access an array of admin resources. Click on any of these tabs to go directly to the page. Click here to sign out, take a tour, or click Visit HMM to go to the learner site. Let's begin with the One View. Key metrics are presented in this dashboard, giving you a quick picture of overall HMM usage. The data is cumulative for the life of your instance. There are three categories of metrics displayed in the One View dashlets. License activity, topic activity, and learning impact. The license activity dashlet shows the percent utilization across the total number of licenses in an HMM instance. The chart shows the ratio of active learners, those who have visited HMM at least once, to total number of licenses. For enterprise clients with unlimited licenses, utilization is the ratio of active to registered learners. The license activity dashlet is grouped by how recently active learners visited. If you do not have an enterprise license, you can also see the number of available licenses remaining. Topic progress shows the total count of completions across all topics for lessons, assessment, on the job part one, and on the job part two. At a glance, it provides a picture of where learners are spending most of their time and where learners may be dropping off. The five most visited topics are presented in the trending topics dashlet. This is measured by total number of visits across all available topics. The topic completion dashlet shows the percentage of active learners who have completed at least one topic based on the required completion criteria. Like trending topics, the learning impact by topic dashlet presents the five topics with the highest learning impact percentage. The learning impact dashlet shows the average for all topics across three key metrics, knowledge impact, job impact, and results, as reported by learners. Learning impact measures are available to organizations leveraging the on-the-job component of HMM. It's very easy to export any of the graphs to add to presentations or reports. Click on the menu icon to print or export the dashlet in the preferred format. The information icon displays a glossary for the metrics and terms related to each dashlet. Get a more detailed report view in the Reports tab by clicking on the dashlet itself or clicking on the Reports tab. In the Reports tab, you have access to four reports across three areas, License Activity, Topic Activity, Progress and Completion, and Learning Impact. We'll begin by looking at the License Activity Report. This report gives you insight into how your licenses are being used so you can respond to shifts in usage, identify users who haven't visited recently, and see trends in license activity. The graph at the top of the page shows active licenses grouped by days since last visit. Active learners are learners who are registered and have completed at least one learning activity in a topic. This line shows percent utilization, which is calculated by the total number of active learners over the total number of licenses. You can toggle to see learners in different categories. You can also toggle by registered licenses, total licenses, and utilization rate. By default, this graph will show the last 12 months of data, but you can use this dropdown to see the graph for other timeframes. If you have multiple languages, you can hover over the bar graph icon to see a summary of the total active users by language. Like the One View, print or export the graph from the menu icon and see the glossary of terms used in this report from the information icon. This is available for all reports. The table below provides all of the raw data for the report, and it is cumulative for the life of your HMM instance. Likewise, the summary tables you see here are also cumulative and are not affected by any of the graph filters at the top of the page. To get the full detail of a report, click Export Report and choose from pre-selected date ranges, all available data, or a custom date range. Click on Export Report and the report will open in a new window. From there, print or export it so you can sort, filter, or graph the data with more flexibility. From the table, you can also export data at the learner level. For example, if you want information about inactive learners, those who are registered but have never visited HMM, select the checkbox for that row and click Export Learners. You can print or export it like the previous report. This learner view will provide you with the list of learners by username, first name, last name, email, and any profile fields unique to your organization. The learner level report also includes learner registration date, total number of visits to date, 
and days since last visit. If you have multiple languages, you will also see each learner's current default language. Let's move on to the topic activity report. This report gives you insight into aggregate learner activity at the topic level and also helps you understand the relationship between visits, visitors, and time and topic. For example, which topics have the most visitors? How does that compare to the topics with the highest amount of time in the topic? In the graph at the top of the page, choose to view all topics or a specific topic, and you can also select a time frame to view it by, as well as either the visits or visitors metric. As in all of the reports, select print or export from the menu for a full output of table data or reference the glossary. You can view the cumulative raw data in the table at the bottom of the page for more detail. Click Export Report and select the date range you're interested in, or all data, and you will be brought to the BERT Report Viewer where you can view, print, or export the additional data. To see learner-level detail for specific topic activity, select the checkboxes next to the topic or topics of interest and click Export Learners. If your report exceeds 5,000 rows of data, you will need to click Run Batch Job. You will receive an email with the report instead of an immediate export. Let's move on to the Progress and Completion Report. See learner progress across the topic components, including the lessons, assessment, on the job part one, and on the job part two, as well as full topic completion. This helps answer the question, are learners completing the topics in Harvard Manage Mentor as expected? If not, where in the topic are they faltering? The Progress and Completion Report gives you these insights for every topic over the desired time frame. As in all the reports, click Export Report for a full output of table data that can be customized by date range. To see progress by individual learners, select the topic or topics from the list and click Export Learners. This detailed report gives you information about the topic, the user profile information, total number of visits, time and topic, the total number of lessons complete relative to the available number of lessons, the passing assessment score, and status of each learning component. You can also see the date the topic was completed based on your completion criteria. Now we'll move on to learning impact. What is the impact of learning on the job? The Learning Impact Graph is a visual representation of how learners report changes across the eight key impact drivers as captured in the post-topic and impact surveys in the on-the-job component of HMM. The Learning Impact Graph displays the average score for each of the drivers. The survey results will not appear until after a minimum threshold of five survey pairs has been submitted in at least one topic. Click on the callout in the top left and you will see the average learning impact score. This score is derived from three of the key impact drivers knowledge impact, job impact, and results that our research shows best measures overall impact. The table at the bottom of the page provides more detailed data, such as the scores for the post-topic survey and impact survey for each topic and the number of surveys completed, so you know how many learners are driving the scores. We established a minimum threshold to ensure the number of responses represents a meaningful number of learners. Currently, there must be a minimum of five post-topic and impact surveys completed for the learning impact score to calculate. As in all reports, click Export Report for full output of table data. To see which learners have taken the survey and their results across each of the key impact drivers, check the box next to the topic or topics and click Export Learners. All learner management tasks can be performed from the Learners tab. The landing page displays an alphabetical list of all registered learners. The first three profile fields are displayed on screen regardless of how many there may be in total. To edit a learner, search by typing in the name field and click directly on their name in the list. From the edit screen, you can change learner details and login information. To reset a password, click the reset password button. The learner will be alerted by email that their password needs to be changed. Note that the reset password option will not appear for single sign-on clients. To provide admin access to the full admin console, select the Administrator role. Select Resource Admin to enable access only to the Admin Resources tab. For regular learners, select the Learner role and remember to click Update to save your changes. This page is also where you can see all of the activity for any individual learner. 
Click Export Activity and select the reports you are interested in to see all report data for the learner. You can also expire a learner or reactivate expired learners from this page. Changes made to a learner's data are audited and a log is displayed so you know what was changed, by whom, and when. If you want to register a new learner, click the button from the Main Learners tab page, fill out the mandatory information, and click Register. To get a list of all your registered learners, click Export Learner List. If your learner list exceeds 5,000 lines, you will be notified via email when your list is ready to be downloaded. Learning in Context is a key part of our learning design, and there are two ways you can add context for your learners in HMM, both of which are managed on the Company Content tab. A company message appears for your learners on the Learner Site homepage, and you can change this at any point. You can also change the default Company Message heading to whatever suits your needs. Update the company message frequently, at least once a quarter, to let learners know how HMM aligns with your organization's strategy or objectives. In addition, to put learning in context at your organization, add resources to any topic in HMM by clicking on the Company Resources section. You can add up to five links to articles, videos, tools, or other documents that are relevant to learners in a specific topic. Follow the on-screen instructions, choose a topic from the dropdown, and update the information that will display for each resource. If you have multiple languages, you will need to update the company resource for every desired language. Finally, let's take a look at the Admin Resources tab. This page is your one place for the most up-to-date HMM documentation. These resources can be useful for HMM administrators as well as HR business partners and program facilitators. Resources are listed alphabetically by title. Use the filters to drill down to the specific resources you need or use search. Admin resources fall into five categories. Content tools and resources will include assets and indices such as the list of articles and videos available in each topic. Marketing and promotional resources include an array of ready-to-use content to promote HMM to your learners via topic emails, topic tweets, best practices, and more. You can download links to embed HMM topics, lessons, articles, or videos in your communications to learners. Reference contains important guides and updated release notes. Check out the measurement guide for insight on how to interpret and work with the reports, including spotlights and case studies to help you figure out your HMM story. For information on creating reports, please refer to the admin guide. Cafes are very popular facilitation resources that enable live blended learning experiences around an HMM topic. Each cafe includes a PowerPoint presentation, overview, and sample announcement email that you can download and customize to meet your needs. We also have resources that are geared toward ensuring a successful implementation of HMM, including a factors for success checklist, strategic plan template, and more. We add new and updated resources on a regular basis and encourage you to check back often. The Admin Console is your destination to monitor activity, manage learners, contextualize HMM for your learners, and get the resources you need to successfully implement and maintain Harvard Manage Mentor.